And we're in the seam again. For some reason or another. Guess it's time to turn around. That is a very interesting plot twist. So I think Die Hardman knows Unger? Which makes it mildly confusing. Oh, wait, there we go. There's her body. So he, so Die Hardman knows Unger and President Strand is somehow related. Damn, the plot thickens at this point. Startled you. Where am I? Back east of the tar belt. Your private room. You have Amelie to thank for that. Where is she? We don't know. She didn't head back east? No, but after she saw to you, she contacted HQ and left us a message. Saying what? I'm going to finish what Bridget started. Just that, and then gone. Bridget? I saw Bridget on the beach. Sam, please. You yourself burned her body, remember? She wouldn't have remained on the beach, couldn't have. Not even if it was her daughter's beach. Check the logs. You've got them, don't you? Sorry, we didn't get any of it. The only record we have is the one in your head. What else do you remember? That guy was there too. Cliff. He took Die Hardman hostage. The director? That part you believe? Well... It would explain why we haven't heard from him for so long. I always suspected him. But now I'm starting to piece together a different narrative. Something's been bothering me, you see. We've been operating on the assumption that Higgs was controlling Cliff. But that can't possibly be correct. Because Higgs is gone. And Cliff is still causing trouble. You think Cliff is the mastermind? Yes. He's likely holding Amelie and the director captive on the beach. And that's where I'm going. Wait a minute. Where's Fragile? She's safe here with us. But so long as you're over there, she won't be able to send you to the beach. What? Uh, you must understand, Sam. While you were unconscious, the situation changed quite a bit. We'll explain everything, I, I promise. But first, you should rest. All right? Fuck rest. I'm going back to that beach. And little Lou doesn't need a break either, I take it? Aw, oh, he looks sleepy. <sighs> A break would be good, wouldn't it? Sam, you helped us extend the chiral network from coast to coast. And you dealt with Higgs, the UCA's enemy number one. We couldn't have come this far without you. But there is still one final step. We have to swear in a new president and establish a functioning government. Only then will America be whole again. Why don't you save that shit for someone who cares? I've done my part. Fuck America. We've got bigger problems now. I hear you, Sam. Government is the least of our concerns at this point. Cliff has Amelie, which means there may not be anything left to govern come tomorrow. If tomorrow comes at all. Then why aren't we out there doing something about it? I don't care what she is, only that we get her back. Right you are. Rescuing Armelie and averting the sixth extinction are one and the same. But neither will be possible unless you first come back east. We are in no position to give you orders, of course. But believe me when I say it is the only way. What the heck? Oh, hey there, Fraga. Everyone's here but you. Fragile transported us back to headquarters. You okay? Uh, never been better. Oh. Oh. Delivering so many people in such a short amount of time is... No. Mama. No, no Lagna. Yeah, I'm here too. 
Figured I should lend a hand. Oh no, we can't use fragile, can we? We're all waiting we? for you, Sam. No way in hell am I hauling myself all the way back there. Come on, fragile. Let's do this. I can't, Sam. And not just because I'm a wreck. It isn't safe to use the beaches to move people anymore. Oh, the beaches are unstable. Chiral spikes have become far more frequent, possibly as a result of expanding the network nationwide. Too many beaches sharing the same space, wires get crossed and so forth. You can see the toll it's taking on the network itself. With things the way they are, it's too dangerous to risk jumping through a beach. Even if I reach a beach, there's no telling where I'll come out on the other side. And I could get stuck in there. That's why I can't go to you either. But if I could get to the entrance of the beach, I should be able to get you there. The beaches are still there after all. I can personally attest to that. So yeah, you will need to hold yourself all the way back here. Oh, come on. But once you have, I promise I'll take you to Amelie. That is very annoying, Straight game. to her beach. The two of you share a very special connection. Your dream catcher, her kipu. They are no mere trinkets. They are singular, irreplaceable totems, embodiments of your shared memories. Two sides of a coin. The price of entry to her beach. Dream catchers are a product of Native American tradition, that of the Ojibwe people, to be precise. They were said to ward off nightmares, to alter one's dreams. If Dooms is indeed Amelie's gift to us, her shared dream of our future, perhaps your totem is an invitation to change it, a test, challenging you to find hope amid their hopelessness. While we await your return, I'll search the beach for Amelie and the director. I doubt my ties to them are strong enough, but better that than sitting around doing nothing. I'll see if I can't find something in the records on the three of them. Maybe they're more connected than we know. We're waiting for you. The way home should be easier, right? Hurry back east. You already know the way. And when you get here... Oh. Oh. Finders keepers. Now, get out of there. And make sure you head east, towards Lake Knot City. There's no cargo to deliver this time. Or rather, you're the cargo. That's the mission. Okay, that just went from like zero to annoying. Gross. Because now we need to get all the way back east, but at least we don't have any cargo. So the only thing we need are probably just weapons. Some of the cargo you were carrying before crossing the tar belt has been placed in a private locker. Uh, in the safe house, it can be accessed via the delivery terminal. Let's go. That child is special. One of a kind. New cutscene. A BB catted. Either that or a sacrifice. Wait, is the person on the left eye Hardman? A foundation. A bridge. Plot twist, guys. Plot twist. Episode 10, Die Hardman. We're getting very close to the end of the game. Oh, I do not like the weather. I don't like it at all. Hold up. We need to get ourselves some guns. If we don't have any guns, we're probably going to die for. And also remember, there are mules along this path as well. So we're going to get one non-lethal assault rifle, uh, level three. And then we're going to make a grenade launcher as well. And then two humanity grenades. Should give us some defense against some of these things out here, especially since it looks like it's going to be BT territory. Two in the shoulders. That's great. Where's the skill? Oh, we don't have our skeleton anymore. Uh, we can probably make a speed skeleton real quick. Let's make a speed skeleton. 
We got a speed skeleton level 2, so that's gonna help. Equip it, and then we're ready to go. Let's do this. Over here. Over here. Wait, where the hell am I? Oh god. We need to go all the way to Lake Knot City. At the very least, it's not the worst thing that could happen. We don't need to go all the way towards the east. It's just, we just need to go through here, which is the middle part of the map. So we're gonna have to go through some mule territory, and then through the mountains, through here, through some more mule territory here. We actually have a lot of stuff to do, I'll be honest with you guys. This is gonna prove to be one heck of a journey. And I feel like we might need a bike for this. Why is everything green though? That's not good. Let's go. Sam, it's hot. Be advised that chiral density in regions predisposed to strandings has increased dramatically. No doubt the beach is to blame. PTs drawn into our world under these circumstances may be affected in unpredictable ways. Okay, we're gonna try to use a vehicle for a little while until some of the BTs might kick in. Because vehicles might actually be a better option. This guy doesn't look right, I agree. So we're gonna go here first. Where's Sam? So it's towards the right here. This guy definitely does not look right, my guys. So I'm guessing we're gonna see quite a few BTs along the way. And this is probably not gonna be a short mission in any sense of the word. We're gonna try zooming straight through the terrorist territory. Hopefully. Hopefully it's not gonna take too long. Let's go. Another day, another song. Let's go. So there's gonna be meal territory, but I'm hoping that we can zoom straight through the terrorists. That's my hope. Because last time we just sort of zoomed around uh, around the top here and that was an oh god. This is why I hit the truck. Look at this, it's not even stopping. It's not even stopping. It's just sliding into oblivion. Okay, I'm just gonna drive this way and hope we don't slide too badly. Because we want to conserve our energy because we don't have any PCCs on us. But this truck is not really helping either way, I'll be honest. Okay, we're gonna try to get up that slope towards the left here if we can. Okay, I think I hate vehicles now. At least this truck. It is not helping, look at that. Bloody heck, it's just going straight through downwards. It's sliding a lot. But our speed skeleton is looking great. Energy, not so much. I think we can go there. Drink some water. Uh, monster energy. If we can find some generators along the way, that will be great. But this is the dangerous bit. It's going to be meal territory. And I don't think there's any fast way for us to even get there, so I'm going to hate this a lot. Okay, let's take the mountains up there. I think we should be able to get up. Man, our energy is getting taken up really quick for some reason. Okay, might be able to climb up here. The rain is stopping because, you know, it's territory is for the terrorists, so they know what they're doing. Oh, I don't know about this. Oh god, what the? I don't like this game sometimes. Is this the path I came out with my ropes? Okay, let's go straight up. I think these might be the ropes I left behind.
Okay, no, I gotta get up before I can check my map. Oh yeah, this is my one. Nice. Yeah, we're about to enter Mule territory, so I'm just gonna really quick. We're gonna check on BB. BB, wait, where do you go? Oh, BB's fine now. Just gotta look up for the markers here. Because I know they're here, just a matter of when. I wonder if we can directly do like a line straight through here. It, that would be an interesting run, I think. Like a direct line diagonally. Actually, that might work. It's very patchy right now. So we could kind of get to the paleontologist or something. Because I can see somebody has set up some, some of these along the way. Which means we might be able to get somewhere. Maybe let's go here first. See if that does anything. And a generator will be great. Alright, here we go. Gotta be sneaky. Because I'm pretty sure we're near M Mule territory, the terrorist territory, but I can't see the scanners. So it might just be on the very edge of it. How did they get up there? Holy shit. That's kind of hard, but it might be our only chance. Can you even reach it there? Is that. Is, I'm pretty sure that's like outside of 300 meters. Let's try it anyways. Whatever. Fuck it. I'm heading back east. Well, the music died out, and <laughs> that's good. I don't think we can climb up there. How the How the heck were we supposed to climb up there? This guy's placement is absolutely horrendous, I'd say. Okay, so we've tried it before. I think we can actually go through the top mountains without triggering the alarms. But uh, we'll try anyways. So just stay on the left actually at this point. Uh, maybe, yeah. We have our weapons actually after all, so. Okay, one, two, three. And that didn't work. And I'm out. Let's go. Okay, I think we can get out of here easily. They can see me. Okay, I think we can get out of here easily. Oh my god, these... What the heck? These random rocks be tripping me. Let's get out of here. I think we got this. Okay, we're at the Volcano Observatory. I don't know how far they're gonna chase, but we're actually past their lines now. That's pretty good. BTs, you say? That's good. Good to know, the more you know. Alright. Now, now we gotta figure out where to go, because this might be BT laden. That's a private safe house, so that's some sketchy stuff. That's where the BTs are gonna be. So we're gonna try to take this pass up the mountain, probably. Somewhere up there. Sounds a bit risky, but it's only our only chance. Alright, let's do this bike. Nobody's using it. Might as well use it. Oh! What? Shit. That fast? Can't pin this on the hex. What the hell's going on? 
What? I'm not even anywhere close to them. I should be able to get out the zone though. Because the zone's like right here. Hey, we're at the zone. Screw the zone. What's going on? Alright, so this entire zone just blew up into a BT zone for some reason. That I, I don't even know why. And I don't really want to cross through this area now, but we got to cross through it. Because there's no way else we're going to get up here. We've got to get it to the mountains. What the heck was that? Will they spawn again and we walk down here? Let's hope not. I'm kind of just hoping we can trigger it once and it doesn't happen again. Oh, the rain stopped. That's a good thing. Let's just run. I didn't realize the rain stopped. I guess I guess the cow density uh, sort of reduces after you get out of a particular circle. Maybe. Like once it starts raining, we've got to be a bit careful. But I think so far we're okay. So we're just trying to get up to the mountains there. Um, there's no more, but there is a zip line over there. So maybe if I check my map, so we can sort of move towards Hartman's lab. There's one here. <laughs> it's all it's all rainy. Screw it. Let's go. Sam, do you copy? I've been looking into Clifford Unger and wanted to share my thoughts. To recap, Unger was a U.S. Special Forces operative whose retirement roughly coincided with the Death Stranding. After he left the service, he somehow became involved in the early BB experiments. However, he died before they ended. Now, while the circumstances surrounding his death are not entirely clear, I'm beginning to suspect that these battlefields of his are at least partially sustained by his enduring emotional attachments. Anger, resentment, regret, I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with the BB experiments. That much seems clear given his repeated attempts to steal Lou. Cliff seems to be driven by a compulsion to reclaim our BB, as if that will make him whole again. A compulsion so powerful that he was not only able to drag himself from the depths of hell, but bring a piece of that hell along with him. One thing's for sure, he's nothing like a BT. We need to know the whole story about his death and his connection to the BB experiments. I'll keep digging and let you know what I find, Sam. I mean, that sounds about right, I guess. Right, so we're going to try to make it through the mountains. There is a zip line uh, somewhere about 400 meters away from us right now, but it is in the middle of some time storm. Time fall. And I don't know if this is just like BT style or if this is just gonna be time snow, snowstorm kind of thing. So we're just gonna push on actually at this point. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All right, good. Keep on, keep it going. I'm seeing normal time fall so far, so there is a chance of BTs. But we're gonna to try to make it to, uh, to this zip line, I think over here. Because that should bring us down to Hartman's place and we can zip over here. So that's what I'm hoping. If we can make it there, I think we're set. So let's do this. I shouldn't be equipping a strand. I guess that is the lightest thing we can go with right now, so... Alright, let's get climbing. So far I've been really loving this particular part of the story. So we just defeated Hicks and all. The Hardman. It's like at this point, you know, you're getting that one meme where you're just like, oh yeah, it's all coming together. That is quite literally what is happening in this game. You just slowly uncover more about different people, different stories, and now you're like, yeah, it's all coming together. Oh, another song. I think it's gonna be like song central all the way towards the east, so let's try to get to the zip line real quick, huh? Let's go. Get to the generator as well, I think, would be a good idea. 
I've seen some people use jumping as a speedrunning strat. Might be a valid option, since snow is going to really slow us down, I think. Just don't need to jump too high, or we're going to get stuck, or our cargo gets damaged. But that doesn't really matter. It'll just slow us down, though. Alright, let's just keep on jumping. Stamina is not being reduced too much, so the monster energy is really holding up its, its end of the bargain. Okay, here we go. Quick charge up for a skeleton. Nice. Now we can keep on moving. Boots are holding up, so I think we're good. I don't think we can make it to Lake Knot by the end of the video, but we'll try to get as close as there as we possibly can. And then I have a feeling when we reach over to Lake Knot, we're either going to learn more about Die Hardman or we're going to start pushing into some uh, Clifford Unger storyline. Because I think we still have a third boss fight with him, you know, since he's not really dead in anything. Right, let's go. That should get us to Hartman's lab. At least I think so. It should, I think. Fingers crossed. I gotta check my map though, so hold up. So this jumps to here, then down to Hartman's lab. Yeah, there we go. So we can charter something from Hartman's lab, I'm guessing. Or at least we can move on from there. In some way or fashion. Somebody left us truck. Alright, they get us to Hartman's lab. That's good. So we need to get to Mountain Knot. Which is probably the next stop. So I'm going to quickly give a quick charge while we sort of figure out where we're going next. So we're going from here and we're going to, let's see, I think this might be able to get us here. Then we can go through my zip lines all the way to Mountain Knot. So we're going to aim for this one, which shouldn't be too far. So I think at this point, all the things we set up over time in this game is all really coming together. All the zip lines, all the... Uh, all the ropes, all the climbing anchors and stuff like that. Also running really speeds you up in terms of the jumping. There's a marker. That's what we're aiming for, let's go. Hopefully this gets us where we need to go. Okay, turn this off. Oh, nice hologram apartment. Hi there. Right. Uh, what's the difference? I can't... So it's aimed here, so there's two. Both of them are mine. That's good, that's good. That's where I want to go. Now the ones that I set up... So we're probably going to go to the wards, the one on the right. Doesn't matter, they're both in the same line. That should get us down all the way to Mountain Knot. So it's, like, it's like right outside Mountain Knot. Wow, I have not used my own zipline in quite a while though. Because we've been having trouble with the uh, tarot bandwidth. Here we go. Now the question is, where do we move on from here? So from Mountain Knot all the way to the Northern Distribution Center. It's quite a long way and this entire area is mules, which means I need to go find a... Huh, I wonder if this works. So this to like maybe here, here, and here. That might be able to bounce. Or something. How many likes does this have? Oh, it's got a lot of likes. So I'm going to assume this actually works. So we're going to mark that as a target. Put on to Sam and we're going to go go to that target. Not too much of a mess so far, I'll, I'll say. Hold up. I thought I set up a generator here before. Oh no, I cleared it, right. Right. I forgot I cleared out the generator in order to make the zip line. Gotta make sacrifices. 
All right, we should be able to go up without too much of a issue. I think. Just need to find the right way to sort of climb up. Weapons restrictions lifted. Turn that off. Weapons restrictions lifted. Okay, that should get us up. So we just need to get up to the top and get to the zip line. So the zip line system is actually really coming into a lot of use right now. I remember I was I also said something along the lines of uh, I want to build zip lines so if I ever need to come back this way it'll be easier. And yeah, I guess we were right. I was right about that. Battery's dying. But jumping is still gonna be a fun no! No no don't fall. Don't fall. Whoa, what the heck? I, I thought I could have made that jump. Guess not. Oh, oh. Gotta hit all the blue spots. The yellow bits are the part that makes us slip, which kind of sucks, honestly. Huh. Gotta be careful here. Why is there a ladder here? I, I can't see it, man. It doesn't really work out well as a ladder, huh? Okay, we're low on stamina again. We gotta take another sip of that beautiful monster energy, which is definitely product placement. Okay, that should get us down there. Wait, how far is it? Holy shit, that is far. But if we can get up there, we'll be good. So this is the one that I set up before, huh? The roboticist. Wait, but I set up a zip line here before. Why did I set up one in the middle? Or something, wow, okay. Guess this might be beefy territory actually, so we're gonna be careful here. Let's just have our fingers crossed that nothing's gonna happen. It's getting real green. I think the trick here is just to see how green the sky becomes. I can't tell because normally we just need to see oh if the sky turns darker or bluer. That's fine. But this is slightly harder. Right, just on the very edge. We're just going to get going. We're going to use our jumping method to help speed us up. And hopefully BPs won't erupt out of nowhere. But we'll, we'll see the premonitions when they come. Flash of blue and then immediately running for our lives. Right, keeping the scans up. So as long as we jump on the blue areas, I don't think we'll fall down from our jumping sequence. Okay, we can see it. The icon's already up, so it's close. Don't judge me, Sam. Okay, so until we find the next generator, this strategy is just gonna have to work. But actually, with the speed up skeleton, with the speedy skeleton, it does help us jump further, which actually helps with any speed runs of this game. That's good. So currently, this jumping method is actually uh, helping out loads. Is really pushing how fast we get to a specific destination, I think. Because snow really just slows it down, I think, at this point. Okay, let's hope this works. Let's hope we didn't come here for nothing. Please tell me this works. What? God damn it. The guy who made this, why, why would you do this to me? Why would you do this? Thought I had a thing that I could use. I guess not. So now our only other option is to go down here, which I know is a BT infested area. All the way down here. Well, that sucks. Well, I'm gonna leave this video here for now because this is gonna be a really lengthy journey and I'm glad that you all are joining with me. I think next time I'm gonna start from maybe the Northern Distribution Center uh, instead of getting there in, in a video. You know, just to make things a little bit shorter and plus you guys have already been there with me before. So I hope you guys are staying safe and staying healthy. And I'll see you all when I get there to the Northern Distribution Center. So, bye.